Ladies and gentlemen, close your eyes for a moment and transport yourselves to the moon. Imagine standing there, your boots on the lunar surface, as you gaze upon to the earth, a radiant blue orb in the vastness and the darkness of space. What do you feel at this moment? Is it awe at the unparalleled scale of the universe? Is it light at the human achievement that put you there? Or perhaps a newfound sense of unity that transcends all earthly divisions? Now open your eyes. Hello, I'm Divyan Shubhuda, a rocketeer and a space technology entrepreneur. And I'm here to affirm that this dream, this vision, it is not a distant fantasy, but a near future reality. I have dedicated my life to making this future attainable and making humanity space-faring. It will not be our final frontier, it will be our next frontier. And I'm thrilled to share how India is playing a pivotal role to make this happen. The landscape of space technology today is changing extremely rapidly. The costs of building, launching and maintaining satellites has plummeted drastically opening up new frontiers for space exploration. While human spaceflight is still dormant, but players like SpaceX and Blue Origin are reshaping the industry. We see this in immense global adoption of the Artemis Accords and over here domestically, the impetus and push on the Gaganyaan mission. In the midst of this transformation, India stands out with a unique narrative. Our space program is unlike all the others. We stand on the visionary ideals of Vikram Sarabhai to be the world's first and only civilian first space mission. While other nations often started off their space programs with military intentions, India's focus has always been on harnessing space technology for the betterment of society here on Earth. It is this fundamental difference that sets India apart and gives us a distinctive role to play in the global space story. It is under this ideal and vision that over the last five decades, we have created a pioneering space program. Uh, we, uh, we have created a pioneering space program. We are not following in the footsteps of superpowers. We are forging our own path forward and leading the world. It is India that will take us to the moon and to Mars. And it will not do that for our limited borders, but it will do this for our unlimited curiosity. With that context in mind, let us now delve deeper into the, into the Chandrayaan-3 mission. This wasn't merely a moon landing. With this mission, India successfully demonstrated, India became the fourth nation to successfully demonstrate a soft landing on the lunar regolith, and the first one to do so in the southern polar region of the moon. We, now with this mission, the Chandrayaan series of missions, have the most powerful camera in lunar orbit. We have discovered water on the moon. We have demonstrated the capacity and capability to reignite the, the engines of the lander and hop. We have done various seismic and thermal studies. Our payloads have performed beyond expectations. We have even driven a rover on the moon surface. It is our scientific prowess that has contributed immensely to the global scientific understanding of our celestial neighbor. Chandrayaan-3 was India's way of announcing to the world, we have arrived we, and we are here to contribute meaningfully to the cosmic journey of humanity. But what does all this mean? How does it impact the average citizen? Where is the impact? Through my work with rocketeers, I've had the privilege of launching not just model rockets, but dreams. I've traveled across the length and the breadth of the country. And I can say for sure, the impact is immense and extremely transformative. If this impact has seeped deep into our awareness, our dreams, our aspirations and our goals. It was only a few years ago, when I was studying at the Indian Institute of Space Science and Technology, people did not recognize this role. I had to explain to friends, family and strangers alike that ISRO is like the Indian NASA. Today, 
not only everybody recognizes this role but are they are immensely proud of its activities and achievements and the moon landing has taken this various steps further today isro has become a part of our culture it is impacting our clothes our poems and more a t-shirt like this one it would not get any uh, it would not get recognized today it receives a lot of brand recognition and attention poems like chanda mama dur ke are like chanda mama nahi ab dur ke rather the impact is so deep that it has even impacted our festivals ganesh chaturthi pandals this year were a lot of fun the festival not only saw celebrations of lord ganesha it was a celebration of india reaching the moon it was this is what happens when a nation's dreams soar sky space high this was truly a reflection of india's apollo moment for the first time in history the indian citizens envisions reaching for the stars gazing at at the national scientific progress that we have seen a new fan curiosity about space technology and its benefits now engulfed the nation the nation is no longer a bystander but an active dreamer asking questions that resonate with science communicators like me like music today school children dream of becoming rocket scientists while senior citizens swell with pride at india's space achievements teachers eagerly infuse space sciences into their curriculum and parents encourage their children fervently to aim for the stars quite literally but it is more than just becoming astronauts and scientists it is about empowerment through knowledge this tidal wave of aspiration scientific aspiration impacts that girl in rural india who now sees this as a way to break the glass ceiling or it impacts that poor boy in urban india who sees science as a way out of his poverty the ripples of chandrayaan 3 have unleashed a tidal wave of inspiration aspiration and unwavering determination for the indian citizen to forge a path towards a brighter future india with all its aspirations has truly arrived at the moon now the question on my mind uh, as a as a rocketeer as a space entrepreneur is uh, what can i do to feed this fire this fire of aspirations this fire of young children to make humanity space faring what can i do this young generation of children is unlike any other they are the first generation that will see humanity become truly space faring they will see us go back to the moon and stay there they will see as we build cities on mars they will see as more and more people are needed to work in zero gravity environments in extreme and unpredictable circumstances on surfaces strange and unknown imagine the lives of these future explorers for a moment imagine the kind of skill sets they will have imagine the kind of mindsets they will need it is from this generation that we have to create this vast human resource pool of the explorers of tomorrow with the astronaut mindset space education tries to do this in various ways through astronomy night sky watching nasa and isro visits lots of interactions with scientists and astronauts but for me the best path to instill these skills into the children while retaining their curiosity for the stars is to engage them into building and launching their own rockets rocketry captures human emotion in a manner that is unparalleled even after watching more than 150000 model rocket launches still every time i see one my heart flutters and i soar with excitement and my face smiles with exuberance rocketry not only excites and stimulates but it also provides a very very organic learning path for for the skills required and the scientific know-how required for this industry it combines that unbound creativity with the fundamental values of patience grit and collaboration that are required for the astronaut mindset these are the kind of skills that will be required for the roles that the age of space exploration will bring with it So with this vision of creating this extremely large human resource pool for to make humanity space faring I make children into rocketeers I aim to create a large vibrant rocketry ecosystem 
for India that will make rocketry safe and accessible for students and enthusiasts across the country. This will help us leapfrog the global industry and take our dreams and those of our children to the stars. After launching about 180,000 rockets and interacting with more than 250,000 students all over the country, I can say for sure that this rocketry ecosystem will evolve the pedagogy and the education system of the future. It will go beyond the formal education system and create the approach, the resources and the curriculum necessary that will make humanity space ready. It will create the school for astronauts. As we approach the tipping point of technological capability that will help us explore the solar system, we must weave into our education system the facilities, the infrastructure, and the curriculum necessary to create these explorers of tomorrow, not only in their skills, but also in their minds. This ecosystem, this rocketry ecosystem, will unlock the human space enterprise. Yes, you can become an astronaut. Yes, you can learn the skills required. And yes, you can do it right here in India. The question is, do you want to? The children of the 21st century most definitely do. Thank you.